Hey guys, it's me Jake from JakeMan21642 and today I have this 2012 Jeep Grand Cherokee Overland for you. As you can see, this one has the Black Forest Green exterior which is probably one of the most interesting paint colors I've ever seen because from a distance it looks black but when you get up on it, it actually has a very nice green pearlescent coat to it. This one is a fully loaded, as you can see, does have chrome door handles, your chrome running boards along the bottom, and your chrome door handles along this side and around the window. Coming along the back, you can see this one is a 4x4 Overland Edition. It does have dual exhaust, rear parking sensors, a rear backup camera. Coming along this side, you can see this one has Goodyear P265 50R20s, so 20 inch alloy wheels, they look very nice. More of your chrome along the side. It's just such a gorgeous looking exterior on this car. You do have projector headlights and fog lights, your chrome grill. Go ahead and start this one up. It does have remote start. Basically just push this twice and push twice. Very nice. Go ahead and shut it off. Coming up to the door, you do have intelligent key access. All you have to do is have the key fob with you and basically touch to unlock, as you can see. And then to lock it, just push this button. So we'll go ahead and step inside. This one has the gorgeous saddle leather interior with your black piping on the seats. They are overland embroidered. Just a gorgeous interior. It is a full power driver's seat. Stepping inside of this Jeep, all you have to do is put your foot on the brake, have the key fob in the vehicle, and press to start. As you can see, the steering wheel and seat will move to their last position. Put the automatic driver's side window up. Coming along inside of this Jeep Grand Cherokee, as you can see you have a very nice wood grain and leather wrapped steering wheel. Grow max accenting around your Jeep logo, your Bluetooth controls, your cruise control, and on the back of the steering wheel, you do have your radio controls in typical Chrysler fashion. Right here, you have your intermittent speed wipers. You do have a five-speed automatic transmission with this vehicle. It does have a backup camera with trajectory lines. Right here, we have your auto, sand, mud, rock, snow, sport, your auto leveling, your air, um, air suspension controls right here. Four-wheel drive low and your hill descent mode, so very nice controls in the center here. You can raise and lower the vehicle, as I mentioned. So I have all four automatic windows over here, power mirrors. Everything in here is a very nice soft touch material. You get your stitch leather along here, your wood grain with your little chrome accent. Down here, you do have automatic headlights, push for fog lights, your fuel cap release. You can see your gauge cluster. You do have your information display in the middle, your tachometer, and your speedometer. Another thing I like about this is if you want to conserve fuel when you are driving, try to keep it within these green lines. Just a little thing Chrysler does for fuel economy. Up along the dash, you can see it's very stitched. You got your leather stitching along here, it's very nice looking. You have dual zone, automatic climate control, traction control, tow haul mode, your heated steering wheel, your power outlet controls, your parking sensors on and off, and your hazards. Dual zone automatic climate control as I mentioned. This one does come with the Sirius satellite radio, Hard disk drive info it's fantastic system. sounding. Can open and close it right here, and you do have your DVD drive back behind there. Bluetooth voice commands, auxiliary, very nice. Up along here, you have your rear tailgate open and close, your sunroof controls, your garage home link, an auto dimming review mirror, and right here, you do have your sunglasses storage. Your panoramic roof, as I mentioned. Right here, this is leather stitched, very nice, and it is dual tier. As you can see, go ahead and lift this up. It's very nice. You do have a 12 volt power outlet inside of here also. So we'll go ahead, put one of the automatic windows down, pop the hood. Coming along the back of the Grand Cherokee, the back seat, as you can see, your saddle leather follows through in the rear. You do get your cup holders in the center. And you have, of course, typical SUV style. A very nice amount of back seat room. The windows are tinted. Down here, you can see your two rear AC vents, your 150 watt power outlet, 
and your heated seats for the rear. They are two stage. You do have your bottle holder right here. And to fold the seat, simply pull right there, folds down, and you get a flat loading floor. Coming along the rear of the Grand Cherokee Overland, just go ahead, pop this, and your automatic tailgate will open. Inside of the rear, you have your subwoofer for your audio system, a 12 volt power outlet. Right here, one of my favorite features about these Jeeps, is you do get a built-in flashlight, which will charge. Right here, you do get a storage compartment, some vents. Underneath of here, you get your chrome rails. You do have your spare tire and jack. This one does also have the cargo net. And to close the tailgate, simply push right here. Very nice. I love the way this color just sparkles on this car. Your back seat from this side, as you can see, everything is nice and clean. It still has new car smell. Your Jeep door sills along here. And up underneath the hood, you can see your projector headlights on the front and your HIDs. Up underneath the hood of this Jeep, you have the 5.7 liter Hemi V8 engine. Go ahead and give this one a quick rev and then shut it off. Do have your parking brake down there also. Do have a rev limiter at 4,000 RPM. Go ahead and cut it off. Put the automatic driver's side window back up. You have your tweeter up there for your audio system. Simply all you do, press this to shut it off. We'll move back and it will remind you to put your headlights back in automatic mode. Anyways guys, this has just been a tour of the 2012 Jeep Grand Cherokee Overland. Thanks for watching. If you are interested in this vehicle, please contact Volvo of Richmond. Thanks for watching guys. And as always, please subscribe for more.